Hello, my name is Mrs. Allen and I'm the band director at Olmedo Middle School. I'm going to show you today how to put a reed properly on your instrument. I'm going to show you how to properly put it in your mouth, how to make a sound, and I will show you how to play your first notes on the clarinet. Okay, before we do anything, make sure that have your mouthpiece, okay, and we're going to put some cork grease if you haven't done so especially if you have a brand new mouthpiece or a brand new instrument, you wanna make sure your corks are well greased, okay? So you're gonna get some cork grease, you're gonna put it around, right? And then you're gonna smooth it like that, okay? And if you can, go ahead and do this with the rest of your instrument as well. You can get what we call the lower joint. This is a lower joint and only has one cork on the bottom and turn it around, do the same thing. Go ahead, okay. put some and smooth it on. When you put your instrument down, I would put it back in the case. All right, make sure you put them back in the case, put them where they're safe, okay? Then you have what we call your upper joint. Your upper joint has a cork on the top and a cork down here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and do that. Smooth it out and then do the same thing on the bottom. You're going to rub some, rub it really good, especially the newer your instrument, you're going to need that cork grease. Okay, go ahead and put that down. Okay, and those are all your corks that you are going to put um, cork grease on. Then you're going to take your mouthpiece and just grab it like this. When you start to put your instrument together, Never ever put your put your get your mouthpiece. You're gonna put it together with a barrel, okay? But don't have your reed, don't have your reed and your ligature on it. You you don't want to do that because then you can't grab it right and you end up damaging your ligature, bending the ligature, and then damaging your reed, and you don't want that to happen. When you're doing all the corks and all of that, go ahead and put your reed and soak it in your mouth, okay? Because the reed has to be wet in order for it to work, okay? So what you do is you put the flat side. The flat side's usually the one that has writing, okay? You're gonna put that on your tongue and soak it for a couple of minutes. Since I'm talking, I'm just gonna put mine down, but you have your soap, okay? Then you're gonna grab your mouthpiece and your barrel, okay? Remember your barrel, you have a smaller opening and one that's a little bigger, okay? If you go to the bigger opening, you're gonna tell it doesn't fit, it's too big, okay? So you're gonna go to the smaller opening, all right? That's the one that goes on the top, okay? And when you put it together, you're gonna push and little twist, push and little twist, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, when you're done putting that together, let's go ahead and get your reed. You're going to put the flat side again. The flat side is the one with the writing. You're going to put it right on just like that. And you want the curve of the reed to be with the curve of the mouthpiece. Okay? Never ever touch your reed on top. Never touch your reed on top. Okay? Always handle it by the bottom part. This is the bottom part. This is the thicker part. You can tell it's thicker. That's where you want to hold the reed, all right? Then what you're going to do, see how you have two hands? You're going to get this one, and then you're going to put it like this, okay? And you can adjust it because your ligature's not on there yet, okay? Just like that. Remember, the curve of the reed is with the curve of the mouthpiece. You don't want, be careful that your reed does not look like that from the other side. That's too high, all right? You also don't want your reed to be lower. And you can tell if you see black. See how you can see black on mine? Right here on the top, you could see black. So what you wanna do is put it so it's even, okay? You want it even, very good. Okay, all right. Now what we're gonna do after you get that done like that, 
You're going to get your ligature. Okay, your ligature is a little shiny part, right? And again, it's sort of the same with the barrel. There's a smaller opening and then there's a bigger opening. Make sure it's the bigger opening. Loosen up. Yours, yours looks a little different than mine. You're, you probably have two of them. Okay, I just have one, but it works the same way. Loosen it up and then you're going to put it very carefully. You're going to put it on the top. Make sure you don't touch the reed. Make sure you don't do anything. Make sure you put it right. Be very careful when you put it. You're going to let it go. You're going to loosen it up so it goes down a little bit. Okay. And you want it to look like this. Okay? I haven't tightened it up. If I need to, if my reed is crooked, then if when it's loose, you can fix it. Okay. But remember, don't touch the reed on the tip. Don't touch the reed on the tip. All right. All right, and then once you get it where you want it, okay, you can adjust it with your thumbs. You can adjust it. Never touch the tip again, okay? And then notice how much reed I have on the bottom. You see that? See that maybe about half an inch on the bottom. You wanna be careful not to have your reed too, oh, I'm sorry, not your reed, your ligature. You don't want it too low, okay? This is too low. I'm going to show you. This is wrong. Don't have it like this. Okay? Like this is really low. Okay. You see, you have a big gap right here. Okay. You want it higher. Now let me show you too high. Okay. This is too high. That's too high. You see, you have like a real big part of it out. You want it in the middle of those two. Not too high, not too low. Okay. And what I say, you have a curve. Do you see there's a curve right there? I'm going to get a pencil so you can, or a pen. There's a curve right here. You see that curve? Yeah. You want it right below, little under that curve right there. If you don't see the curve, it's way too high. Okay. If you hardly see any of the bottom, it's way too low. So it's very important for you to make sure that you have it in the right position, okay? okay? Now, after you have it in the right position, you're going to go ahead and tighten up your little screws that are right here, okay? But not too much. And then there's another thing. How do you know if your, your ligature, that's a little shiny thing that holds your reed, how do you know if your ligature is in the right place? The little turny things, the pegs that you have to turn, they're always on the right. You always do it on your right hand. If you have it this way, see that's wrong because now it's on the left. That's incorrect, okay? The pegs always on the right, okay? Always on the right. Okay, and tighten it up. There we go. Now, we have to be careful of how we put this in our mouth, okay? The clarinet face is very, very firm, very firm, okay? And your bottom lip kind of curls over your teeth like this, okay? You're going to put this part about right here, right there. You're going to put that much on your lip, okay? Now your teeth. Your teeth are super, super important. They have to be on the top, okay? Be real careful. You don't want to put too much because then you look, you look funny, all right? You don't want too little. That's too little. You can't even put your teeth on the top of it. Have about that much. Okay, good. All right. Now, what you're going to do is when you play, when you play, you're going to take a deep breath, your teeth stay on there, and then your lips are going to close. And that's the sound you need to get. 
teeth stay on top, your lip stays stretched, and your chin is very pointy. Call it very pointy chin, okay? Also notice, do not let your cheeks puff. That's incorrect. When your cheeks puff, look what happens to my lips. They're not stretched anymore. So that, don't do that, okay? Everything needs to stay very stretched and very firm, okay? And you're holding it with your hand like this. Don't cover the bottom though, don't cover the bottom. Just hold it nice and firm. Lip, right here, teeth, okay? You might hear a little click. That's what you wanna hear, a little click. A little click, breathe. And that's the sound you want to get. I call that a high sound. It's a high sound. If we were to say what note it is, it's called an F sharp. Okay, it's an F sharp. Now look what happens if you loosen up your face. You get that sound. Okay, you don't want that sound. Okay, you want your teeth on top. Not you don't want that either, okay? I just loosened everything and it's real loose in my mouth. Okay, another way to check is your teeth need to be on there. I like to say they're grabbing, they're grabbing, okay? It's like you get your, your fingers and your, like your fingers are like the top of your teeth and they're grabbing and they're not letting go, okay? If you let go, then you're gonna get not that good sound, okay? Again. And you have to practice that a lot till you get that sound. If you get that sound, that F sharp, then when you put it together, you're going to get a really great sound on your instrument. Also, your air needs to be fast. You cannot have slow air. That's slow air, okay? You want real fast air. Think about having a birthday cake. It's your birthday, and you have lots of candles on your cake. And you want to blow them all out at the same time, okay? So you're not going to go. You probably won't even blow one out, okay? But you want to blow them all out. You're going to use real fast air. So if you notice, I'm making my mouth like as if I'm playing my clarinet. <laughs> fast air. That's the kind of air you want. You do not want you don't want that air, okay? Faster to get that F sharp note, all right? Okay, now, we're gonna put the rest of the clarinet together. Okay, when you put it together, so go ahead and put this part, don't take it apart, put it somewhere safe where it won't fall, okay? Oh, and also put it somewhere where you're not gonna break your reed, okay? Just kind of put it somewhere safe. You're gonna grab, let's go ahead and grab, I like to work from the bottom up, okay? It doesn't matter if, you're, if your band director shows you another way, that's fine too, okay? So I'm gonna grab the bell and the lower joint. Remember, the lower joint only has one cork, okay? Doesn't have it over here in the other thing. And the cork is on the bottom, okay? It has to look like this. This is the top of the joint. This is the bottom of the joint. What you're going to do is grab it like right here, all right? Because if you grab it over here, here is, it's too high. You want to grab it lower so you have more control. So grab it here. Okay. You're going to grab this, and you're going to you're going to twist and push in. Okay, twist and push. If you feel it's very hard, put a little bit more quirks. Okay. But if it slides in. After a while, it should slide in real easy. And then it looks like this. Next, you're gonna grab, now you have this one and you have this one, okay? It needs to look like this. This is the bottom, this is the top, 
The way to remember it, the bottom is the one that has all the silver little keys, okay? The top hardly does it, all right? So this is how it goes. Then what you're gonna do is, I want you to grab it by right here. You're gonna grab it like this. Because what you want to do is you want to press this thing here, and that makes this go out a little bit. Okay, that's what you want. Okay, so you're gonna grab it. You're gonna grab it like this. Okay? You're gonna grab it like this, and then you're gonna push and little twists, little twists, little twists. Okay, and you want to make sure that your holes line up. Your holes line up. All right. Very good. Now this is how you put the whole thing together. Your band director might only want you to use the top joint. That's fine too. But if you're putting the whole thing together, you wanna to practice putting it together, that's how you do it. This is another thing you need to be careful with, okay? So when you, if, when you take it apart, just little twists. If you do too big of twists, this is what's gonna happen. You don't want this to get in contact with this because you can jam it and you can really cause damage, okay? So when you put it together, don't like try to twist all the way. Don't, don't do that. Just push and little twist, this little tiny twist, okay? Little tiny twist like that until the holes line up. And that's that part of the clarinet, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and put the mouthpiece and barrel, and that's already put together. We're gonna take the top part. You can hold it like about right here. If you want to, you can put it on your lap. You can put the bell on your leg, okay? Hold it right here. And same thing, you're gonna twist and turn and push in little twists. Your reed should line up with this long key and the hole. All right, like that. When you turn it around and you see all the holes, you don't see the reed. Okay, that's how you know it's correct. All right, but if you turn it around, there you go. All right, now we're going to make our first sounds. You're gonna put your hand up here, okay? You can put your hand down here on the bell. If your arms aren't long enough, you can go ahead and put it up here, okay? Some band directors want you to hold it right here on the thumb rest. This is a thumb rest. You could do it here, okay? If not, if they want you to put it here, that's fine. If they want you to hold it down here is preferred for me. But if your arms can't reach that low, that's okay. You can bring it up here or you can put your thumb here, okay? All right. Now, this is what you're going to do. The same way we did this. Nothing's different. Now we just have the whole clarinet together, okay? So you're gonna hold it here. You're gonna hold it down here. You're gonna make your face Okay, cushion right there, teeth, okay, and remember fast air like you're gonna blow a lot of candles, okay? I'm gonna do it again. And notice when I breathe, my teeth are there. I don't take them off to breathe. Don't do this. You don't have to do that. Okay, look, everything is set. The only thing that is not are my lips. That's the sound you wanna get. Okay, that note that you're playing is a G, G as in good, okay? It's our G note, again. Once you do that a lot, you have to do that a lot, make sure you get the right sound. Now I'm gonna show you how to put your fingers, okay? Now, 
we're not going to worry about the bottom hand and the bottom hand is the right hand okay the hand up here is your left hand some students want to switch hands okay but you know how i can tell it's wrong see all these keys think of this as like a wall okay if you do it here that wall is in the way all right so it has to be where it's open see here there's not anything like this on this side so it has to be your left hand okay your thumb your thumb you're gonna put on the hole right there okay your thumb's gonna go on the hole all right that's the next note so no thumb is what we were doing when we we're doing this okay you can put your fingers over the holes thumb goes with this hole second finger goes with this hole third finger goes with that hole notice i did not press this that's not a hole so don't press that okay and then your third finger goes with this hole all right so you want your hands over the holes even if you're not pressing anything so let me show you i'm gonna go ahead and lower that so you can see my hands I'm not pressing anything and that's the G remember when you did it up here and you were holding it here with no fingers it's the same thing but your hand now is in position okay that's a G then I would like you to press your thumb and notice my other fingers you're gonna cover the thumb completely cover the hole completely and the other fingers stay over the holes Again, you press that. That note is called an F. G, no fingers. F, thumb. The next note is thumb and first finger. Notice my fingers are over the holes. Okay, they're not doing this. Right over the holes. That is called an E. Thumb and first finger is an E. Okay, let's review. G, thumb, F, E. Okay, the next note is a D, and you kind of have to stretch your finger and you have to make sure that you cover the hole. Notice my fingers. My fingers, when they're covering the holes, are kind of flat. Okay? You don't want your fingers like this. Okay, I call this the claw. You don't want a claw hand. You want kind of flat hands or flat fingers, I should say. The tip of your fingers, like where your nails are, okay, they're kind of flat, okay? Now this one here, thumb, first finger, second finger is called a D. That's a D, okay? So let's review. G, no fingers. F, first finger, oh, I'm sorry, thumb, E, first finger, D, second finger, then we're going to add our third finger, okay, and that is called a C, C as in cat, okay, and that's all the fingers, and make sure that the holes are completely covered, okay, Make sure the hole in the back is completely covered. All of this is completely covered, okay? So let's review. No fingers. G, thumb, F, first finger, E, next finger, D, third finger, C, okay? So what I would do is I would practice just putting my fingers down and if you notice, when I put my fingers down, they're very firm, firm fingers, okay? I'm putting them down very firmly. You don't want real soft, soft fingers. Now you kind of want them, I like to say you pop them a little bit. F, E, D, C. And if you do it right, you can hear it pop. So G, no finger, 
F E D C. You'll hear a little bit about it. Okay. So I'm going to play, start from G, and then I'm going to go one note at a time. So the best thing to do or, or a great thing to do is practice in front of a mirror so you can see what your fingers are doing when you when you're playing down here you can't really see your fingers okay you can't see your fingers so but if you practice in front of a mirror you'll be able to see your fingers okay so i hope this helps you get your first sounds remember with the mouthpiece in the barrel okay teeth on top you want a high sound, you don't want a low sound, okay? And then once you put everything together, okay, you're gonna hold it here, all right? Then no fingers, fingers in front of the holes. Your pinky, your pinky kind of stays where these are. These kind of, kind of they look like maybe like the little teardrops or upside down teardrops, okay? These, you're, you're not gonna press those yet. You'll, we'll, you'll learn those later. Okay, but your pinky kind of stays there. Never put your pinky in the back. Some people want to put that. No, don't do that. Make sure they stay in front. Okay, then the G, no fingers. F, thumb. E, D, C. Okay. Good luck with your clarinet playing. I know you guys are going to be great clarinet players. Bye.